Hello, this recommendation is to treat anxiety. Anxiety is extremely common in the population, about one in five adults experience anxiety during a given year, and there are multiple options for treatment. Now, I'm finding a lot of patients screening positive for anxiety, but when I go deeper and I administer a more comprehensive survey, their symptoms are very mild. Nevertheless, I offer treatment, the same treatment to everybody, because it's a question of when worry interferes with your life or your job and it's distressing. And whether it's severe or not, if relieving worry is possible, it's something worth doing. So first thing I recommend to everybody is the option to start medication. Medications I'm talking about are the antidepressant class, the serotonin reuptake inhibitor, inhibitors, not the addictive Valium and benzodiazepines. So, I recommend, no matter how mild or severe your anxiety might be, trying a medication. If it doesn't work, then you've learned something. But it's no, it's, they're not addictive, they're not habit forming, and they basically, they don't like numb you, they just allow you to ex be more calm and more, to more accurately perceive your environment. The other option is therapy. Cognitive behavioral therapy is the number one therapy for this. Cognitive behavioral therapy helps you become like your own scientist where you're not captive to your worries, but you're able to observe them more objectively. You're able to test the hypothesis, the concerns that you have about what might happen in given situations, and sometimes re rethink the actual, how much you're um, concerned about things, like, um, whether you think, whether it's accurate that things are as bad or as, as threatening as they actually are. Self, and so we, I list three websites that have um, counselors we recommend. Self-monitoring, relaxation training, and cognitive restructuring are all components of cognitive behavioral therapy, but I, all, I, I list them separately because a lot of my patients are extremely intelligent, proactive, and can look up and do some of these things on their own. So self-monitoring is this, just this idea of like noticing when you have anxiety, noticing what triggers it, and, 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 and just keeping a record. And then when you, get, when you start treatment, continuing monitoring can be a way of demonstrating for yourself the progress you're making. Relaxation training is very helpful for a lot of people because anxiety can cause a lot of muscle tension. And relaxation, um, particularly progressive uh, relaxation, can be very helpful in relieving anxiety. And it's a technique you would learn in cognitive behavioral therapy. And finally, cognitive restructuring is merely thinking differently about the phenomenon that you experience. You might get really stimulated in a situation and redefining um, that as becoming as being excited, priming you for a challenge as opposed to being threatening and harming your health. Just flipping the way you consider the stimulant response when you have anything that um, causes you to have um, sympathetic activation, meaning uh, elevated heart rate, elevated breathing. Rethinking that as priming you for a challenge as opposed to a threat is a way of effectively dealing with anxiety. So these, so the options, medications, therapy, and some specific um, techniques for anxiety can all be helpful. But overall, I recommend you treat anxiety as a real problem and something to address for your quality of life as well as your longevity.